Now let's look into the one example where we can uh, demonstrate uh, the uses of uh, variance uh, threshold for the feature uh, selection. So let's take an example. Uh, uh, it's related uh, to the, so this example actually applies a variance uh, threshold for text classification. So let's uh, get into that so step one is to import libraries as usual so these are the two libraries that we're gonna import okay let me do that step one step one from sk learn feature selection dot text import count vectorizer count vectorizer and second one from sklearn feature selection import variance threshold and this is what is most important the variance threshold method so then uh, we will move on to the step two step two is to pre-process the text data so pre-process the text data by performing tasks such as tokenization uh, removing stop words and converting text into numerical representations like uh, tf idf or word embeddings so this is what the pre-processing under the text data so for that we will be using the count vectorizer class object so here we will instantiate the count vectorizer class object and then we will use the fit transform method of the vectorizer object uh, and then we will do the pre-processing so let's uh, look into that yeah so step after that we'll move on to the pre-processing the text data so here this is the document i have the information this is the first document and it consists of a list of uh, strings and uh, this document consists of a list of strings and uh, so I have instantiated the count vectorizer count vectorizer class object and then I have called up a fit underscore transform method from the instantiated class object and then I have added an argument of documents. So I have added a document as the argument into this and this is what if you want to see what is my x let me print the x and see print x and this is what we got and uh, what we have given is this a document a pure text data and what we got is this 080306 and it's been counted and vectorized and this is what we got so it has been converted into an array 0 comma 8 and so each one has been uh, transformed into the uh, vectorizer you see that count vectorizer okay then let's move on to the step 3 so now it's time to calculate the variance of each word so calculate the variance of each word by considering its frequency across the uh, documents in the text corpus and that's what we will be doing. So we'll calculate the variance of each word, each word considering its frequency across the documents in the text corpus. So let's calculate the variance now. So next step is to calculate the variance of each word. So that's the reason variance is I have taken x this is what is our x and uh, I just want to make it into two array and then obviously if it is array so you can use where method and we want to calculate uh, uh, in x axis which is zero it's along this I want to calculate along this so that calculation has been done let's see variances here 
so what variances we got and this is what the variance we got uh, so we have one two three four okay and I got the variances around this uh, 0 0.1875.5.25 so overall this is what the variance is uh, we got with respect to the documents uh, data that we have given okay so now it's time to set up the threshold uh, next step is to uh, step 4 uh, is to set the variance uh, threshold so choose a variance uh, threshold value based on uh, domain knowledge or experimentation so this uh, threshold determines which words are considered as low variance and will be removed so so here in this case uh, uh, keeping the domain knowledge as a priority and after doing uh, uh, some some amount of experimentation i just want to go with uh, 0 0.01 as my threshold this would be my variance uh, threshold so let me put it that also in code so set the variance threshold which is equals to 0 0.01 okay so now let's move on to the next step uh, where we want to remove low variance words low variance word, words has to be removed so filter out the words uh, with variances below the threshold and create a new data set with the remaining high variance words that's it so selector we call this a selector and variance threshold is equal to threshold is equal to threshold because threshold is a keyword argument and then the value threshold has been given as a 0 0.01 and we are attaching that to the uh, that keyword argument has will be uh, will be given to the respective uh, class object so if you see uh, step four is to remove the low variance words. For that, we have to fit into variance uh, threshold algorithm. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to instantiate variance threshold class object, and I will refer that class object with the name selector. This is a reference name, and uh, uh, while instantiating the class object, I'm going to give the argument uh, threshold equal to threshold. So here, threshold is 0 0.01. Okay, then. I'll call x high variance is equal to selector is our variance threshold object and from there I will call up the fit transform method okay so then after fitting this uh, selector data after fitting this x completely this x vectorizer text data has been vectorizer and this data into fit transform method of the selector object so what we what we will get is x underscore high variance high variance uh, uh, low variance one will be removed and you will get the only high variance uh, ones so next uh, get the selected features or words that's the next step so selected features is equal to we'll use a vectorizer and we'll use a get feature names out method and then selector dot get support and that's what uh, we'll be doing so next step is to get the selected features or words here is nothing but words so selected features is equal to vectorizer dot get feature underscore name out and then give the respective information so then the final step is to print the selected features and that's what we'll be looking into so Directly, you have to apply a for loop uh, to print all the selected features uh, uh, respectively. So, uh, let's print the selected features for feature and selected features and print the feature. And let me execute this. And so, out of this, the selected features, or we can call it as high variance words, are end is one. You see that high variance word we have end. Then, after that, we have a document. You have once, twice, and uh, th thrice, but uh, the document uh, as comes under high variant, uh, 
high variance and then we have first and then one a second a third so one second third these are all high variance words and using variance threshold and this is how we can calculate uh, uh, the we can select the features using this high variance technique so variance threshold is a feature selection method that removes features with low variance as they are considered to have little or no predictive power. It's based on the notion that features with low variance provide little information and are less likely to be useful for modeling. So, in uh, and note that the code provided the the code that we have used here and the the code that I have uh, coded is a simplified example in a real world scenarios additional pre-processing steps such as removing stop words stemming or using more advanced feature extraction techniques may be necessary so this is what is variance uh, threshold method which comes under filter type uh, feature selection